what's going on guys all right so today we are going to install a battery disconnect switch and the kit I got here is a flaming river I picked up from summit I uh, got kind of just spread out here there's a switch There's the rod. I already kind of uh, sort of kind of did some test fitting here. Uh, my rod is actually too short. So we're going to have to figure out something with that. Um, I may go by Home Depot or something and see if I can find something like this. Uh, a little bit longer. And I can just drill and tap it. But uh, everything else should come right to get, should go right together. Uh, so my idea is just mount it here on this box. Probably something like that. Got a few holes here. It's got the bolts here in this kit. And I'm gonna run the shaft or the, the rod right here on the side. So I'll probably push this nice plate over and drill right here. Somewhere here. And make it look good as I possibly can. So we'll be uh we'll be legal for the track. So that's my goal for tonight. Let's get this put in. May not get a hundred percent due to the rod. It is going like going nine o'clock, so I don't know how long Home Depot is even open tonight. Probably to like ten or so, but I'm not gonna worry about it. That's something I can grab tomorrow. But uh yeah, I'll probably gonna put it put the bracket here and just have the rod going across. So I'm going to throw my bracket up, uh, mark where I need to drill, and uh, show you what I get put in. Alright guys, this is what I got so far on it. So I got the, the positive wires ran. Uh, yes, I know it's not red, but I plan on wrapping it in red. I uh, didn't see having to spend any money I don't have to since I had a, about two, two and a half feet of this left over and it's plenty big enough same I use for the ground obviously so I'm just going to reuse this and uh, that's how I got my switch mounted right now it's on off and, and that's on um, Went to Home Depot. I had to go anyways. Uh, I forgot I had any. I forgot I didn't have any solder left because uh, I had to make some of these fittings for these wires. So I was at Home Depot. They had a piece of aluminum here, same same diameter as the one I came with the kit, but longer. So what I want to do is I'm gonna cut this down to size and drill and tap it so I should do the job uh, I'm pretty much done with this part I just need to tighten the bolt uh, up underneath it uh, tighten, in, tighten in place um, got the wires in there uh, then move the battery back where it belongs I've already tested it, everything comes on. On and off. So really the next step is just uh, find where I'm gonna drill for the uh, for this rod here. What's up guys? Alright, so it is the next day. Uh side of clock quits around midnight. Some of them out here. Uh, it's going on noon now. 
just to finish up this install on the the switch here so everything's pretty much mounted up got the rod installed uh, like I said last night I had to get a new rod I got a new rod from Home Depot it's an aluminum rod same diameter as the rod that came with the kit um, I just couldn't use it because it was too short uh, if I had my battery like right in here it would have been perfect would work just fine but I got my battery a little bit right there where the wheels are so I had to like, put a lot of rod on it so I just uh, cut it down to size and tapped it you know, works pretty good just push it in cut it off so yeah, it works pretty good it does seem like it does stick out quite a bit but once you turn it off it goes in quite a ways and uh, it doesn't matter which cable is what on this post or on this switch uh, does the same uh, I just had to figure out how the, the mount is I, was, I wanted to mount it upside down but the way the switch worked it wouldn't work so I had to put this upside down it has a little tab on here You're probably not going to be able to see it since I got it mounted now Oh, see it right there. You see it right, right there. Uh, gives you a few options how to mount it. it. Did come with some instructions. So, uh, found out worked best this way. Got it upside down here. Um, uh, like I said before, I'm going to wrap this in red. I uh, had this laying around. No need to go and buy some positive cable. I got some of this good old zero gauge cable here. Uh, left over from when did the, the battery were relocating. So like I said, I'm just going to get some tape. I'm going to wrap this up in red. I uh, match everything else. And you get everything nice and tucked up. And we can call this done. Alright, so I got the battery connected. You can see we got lights. What I want to do is check to see if the car will start. It should. I mean, it shouldn't be any issues, but. Don't hurt to check. Everything kicked on. So the car did start. I uh, wasn't too worried. That has a 250 amp rating on it, and the fuse I have behind it's 175 amp. So everything looks pretty good. Now the last is I want to, before I really tuck anything up, make it look nice and neat and all. I want to wrap this cable here, like I said, with some red tape and. Uh, tug up us away and we'll put the cover back on and we still got to put the uh, push off sign I'm just going to stick it 
right here. So we'll be uh, legal for the track now. All right, guys. So I guess we can call this done. Got some red electrical tape. Just wrapped up the the wire there. Yeah, I put a couple zip ties on it. Yeah, I got the box cover put back on, tightened down. So now I just get the rest of the car cleaned up. Uh, put some carpet in. Just to make it look a little better. Alright, so that's what it looks like with the, the hatch closed. Only thing I wish the kit would came with is a seal. It's where you go uh, making a hole. But it doesn't come with one, so hopefully I don't get any water in the car. And so next, I'm going to work on, uh, I'm going to wrap these fuel lines right here. I got some heat shield tape, I'm going to wrap around them. Give them a little bit of extra protection since we are right here by the downpipe here. But guys, I'm going to wrap this video up here. So hopefully you like it. And if you do, hit the like button below. Uh, leave a comment and hit that bell uh, apparently you don't see my updates now unless you hit that bell so but anyways guys uh until next time i'll see y'all later